It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. Hello there, Edelgard. Are you looking for something? You could say that. I'm looking for someone named Linhart who's been skipping lectures again. I see. Well, congratulations, you found him. Politely inform her that my research is vastly more important than whatever it is she has to say. That sounds suspiciously as if you're not going to leave me alone. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. I'm out of here. I'm just gonna hide in the fort and cheer everyone on. There, um, is a fort, right? Sure, but it's deep in enemy territory. How kind of you to offer to cut through for us. There's also that... While I'm bored explaining this, I think you get my point. No, I don't get it. You know, I'm going to agree with you just so I don't have to keep talking. I have places to be. I don't have anything scheduled before my next nap, so I guess that's fine. Honestly, I find most everything annoying. I fantasize about shutting myself in my room and never going outside again. It sounds like paradise. What? That's not... Ugh. This is too much hassle. I'm leaving. Ugh, all that effort is taking its toll on me. Anyway, good night. Uh, then I'll have to help haul it all back, won't I? Please stop with the praising. All right, fine, I'll help. Smart thinking, do it all at once. That's what they say, right? Work smart, not hard. I think you've got it from here, so I'm off to take a nap. Good luck. I just don't have the energy for that. Catherine, about Thunderbrand. I said my position would not change. Go home. You're not getting your hands on Thunderbrand. I was not asking to, so stop being so overprotective. Who knows where each of us will be in five years' time, or who we will become. Don't do it. Still, don't, don't we have do faith it. that all don't of us will it. gather and celebrate don't our do it. That's assuming the professor is still here in five years, and not enjoying a cozy early retirement. I tend to start a project, get bored, and then leave it be. What do you mean? Use your words to make the things in your head make sense to the rest of us. Run through this gate, open that one, run through another one. Sheesh. That's enough gates to last me a lifetime. I'm overdue for some shut-eye. Story goes that if two people share a vow at the Goddess Tower, they'll be bound together forever. Hmm. Or was it that they'll be cursed forever? One or the other for certain. <sighs> Flame? No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. I just recently learned she has a crest. Did you know that, Professor? If it was a particularly rare crest, I could imagine Professor Hanneman would have quite an intense interest in her. Oh, no, I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman of abducting Flane. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool, that's who. I want to just postpone life for a bit. Fish, nap under a tree, skip out on lectures, and... Well, not your lectures, of course, Professor. I slipped quietly into the vault and rummaged about, you cannot looking for anything real. we might find useful. Oh there my God, is a group of people who want to kill us, No, you all. fake. No, you what? for real. This is no time for asking permission. I learned long ago that one can ask permission or forgiveness. It is rarely useful to request the former. Still, it appears the knights have already taken everything useful. There were crest-related objects I thought might be worth studying, so... <sighs> there you go again with that stern look. Of course I'll put them back when I'm done, assuming they bear no additional use. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. So sleepy. Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. Ugh, it's torture not being able to go inside the holy mausoleum for an entire year. Looks like a whole lot of something is about to happen. I'm going back to bed. Why would you say that? Now I feel like a fish on a skillet. On a skillet? <laughs> Never mind. Should I be less picky about what I eat, or should we just find better food? Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss.
How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? Eh, don't get ahead of yourselves. Unfounded optimism isn't a great strategy. Let's just get this over with. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. If that is a polite way of calling him a goat, I'm inclined to agree. I nabbed some valuables from my house. Father is with the Emperor now, so... It's not much, but it's yours. Open the floodgates of heaven! I've been with my family in the Empire until recently. I admit to feeling a little guilty betraying Her Majesty. It's what she deserves. I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings, too. There's someone who's slightly off. Oh well, that adds some color, I suppose. <laughs>